Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your VPS managed VPS hosting. So after ordering a managed VPS hosting plan, your VPS server will be issued to you within five to 10 minutes. Typically it doesn't take anything any longer than that, but what's going to happen is you're going to go to my services and you're going to click on the managed VPS, VPS hosting and whatever tier you selected. Then you can come down here and you can see the different service actions you can take on your VPS. You can power it on, power it off, shut down, reboot, and reset the root password. You will get an email that says we're preparing your server and it will have the IP address and other information about your server. It typically will take five minutes to 10 minutes to provision it. If it doesn't get provisioned, please create a support ticket and we'll look into the issue immediately. But here you can see the password is hidden and we can unview the password by clicking here. Uh, you can see the current host name of the VPS and some other configurable options that you set. And on checkout, I just selected Debian 9. So currently it's running Debian, Debian 9, but you can always change that by rebuilding the server or checking out the ISO images, which you can mount to your server. So we actually have a bunch of different ISO images that you can mount, including windows. So you can win, uh, mount the windows server 2019. And I'll have a video on how to do that because you can't just mount windows server 2019. You also have to mount the drivers for that too. Sorry, just a second, it's loading. And there you go, you'd have to mount these drivers as well, which I will create a video on how to install Windows Server on your VPS, manage VPS hosting with RootPal. So let's go ahead and rebuild the server like it's brand new. So I'm gonna to go to Rebuild Virtual Machine. From here, you could select from the different options and I'm just gonna rebuild it on Ubuntu 18.04. So I'm going to click rebuild and it's going to say all your data is going to be lost and it's going to rebuild the virtual machine uh, using the Ubuntu cloned um, image we have of it. So I'm going to click confirm. And this is actually a very quick process. So there you go. There's the new password of the server. It's instantly set. So you can copy that or you can go to information. and you can pull the password from here as well. However, it will ask you to change the password immediately logging after logging into the server. So there you go, it's already rebuilt. It didn't even have the chance to, it'll say rebuilding right here if it's rebuilding, but it instantly rebuilt. So you can either connect through uh, SSH client like Putty, or you can collect, uh, connect directly through the KVM, which is the console. So I'm gonna click this and it's connect. It's gonna connect directly to the VM. I'm gonna log in as root and type my password in, which is kind of long. So give me a sec. I'm gonna just copy it. And if I was on Putty, I'd be able to just copy and paste it. So it's going to ask me to change the password immediately. And I think I'm did something wrong, so just give me a sec while I log into the server. All right, so this time I'm gonna log in using SSH instead of the KVM console. You really don't wanna use the KVM console unless you can't access the server because that is a direct viewable, um, you can directly access it like you're actually you know, modifying a server where if you can't reach it through SSH, um, you will be able to access it through the console. 
So let's go ahead and connect. And now I can copy that and right click, enter. And it's gonna say change in password. So it's gonna ask for the current password, which is this one right here. I'm gonna right click again, enter. It's gonna enter a new password. And there we go. So now I have my new password and I'm logged in. And you can see it's Ubuntu 18.04. And that's it, I'm in the server. Now I can do whatever I need to do, install whatever I wanna install, and I'm good to go. So that's how you set up your server, you rebuild it. And if you are looking for more help on your VPS with Rupal, we will be sending, we will be posting more videos on how to manage your VPS hosting. But this is managed VPS hosting, which means with Rupal, you get the cheapest prices for managed VPS hosting. Um, and we run deals all the time. So check that out. Managed VPS hosting is actually super expensive because you know, um, it requires a team of professionals that know what they're doing to help you manage your VPS hosting. And it can be, it can be expensive, but at Rupal, we try to keep it the lowest cost possible. Thank you and stay tuned for more updates and tutorials on how to manage your VPS hosting.